Hey there, it's Sunny D. Happy Monday. I hope that you had a great start to your week and that you're having a peaceful and relaxing evening. I'm making a late video. I had my Celebrate Recovery meeting tonight, so yet again another late video, but um, I love this one right here. I used to share this one on air many times and I just thought that it always would speak to somebody. I mean, there's just no doubt that it resonates with someone. So I'm going to share it with you tonight. Is the enemy profiting from your insecurity, depression, anxiety, or other issues? The enemy loves preying on our minds. And if you suffer from any kind of mental issues, he's banking on you, not only listening to his lies, but acting on them. Here are a few of his lies. You're not good enough. You'll never be good enough. You're a loser. No one cares about you. You have no friends. You'll never make it. You'll never get better. If God really loved you, he'd never blank. You'll never have enough money. And the list goes on and on. Our enemy can find bits of truth in our lives and then twist it into something that's untrue and then he spoon feeds it to us. Depending on how we are feeling, we may just accept his lies and believe them. There is a reason that we're told to be renewing our minds and to focus on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. It's a constant battle for everyone. It's not just you. You are not alone. You are not a loser. Every one of us is battling the things in our minds that are from the enemy. They're perfectly catered to each of us because he prowls around us like a lion waiting to devour us. He studies us, knows where to hit hard with things that will keep us stuck. But we have all the power. The power of Christ is within you. That's so good. The next time you start to go down that rabbit trail of negative thinking, stop yourself and choose at that moment to not give the enemy one more second of your time and think about something pure and lovely. It's going to feel weird and it may not be easy you may have to battle it out, but do it even if it's hard. And man, that just really, it hits home with me because that's kind of my everyday life. I mean, I have all these thoughts that pop into my head that I know that aren't from God, that are from the enemy. And, you know, there are times that I recognize it and there are times that I believe the lies. And, you know, I can take myself in, in a split second just down a path, you know, of just negative thinking and, you know, stinking thinking, they say, and start thinking about the worst case scenarios and things will never get better and it is going to always be this way. But those are lies from the pits of hell. All that is is the enemy taking what he knows is important to you and just throwing a monkey wrench in it. He really does come to steal, kill and destroy. He did it recently with me in, in a, you know, situation and I recognized it immediately. I knew that it was an attack of the enemy and I'm still fighting, you know? I mean, the whole situation's not over yet, but I'm still fighting, but God is giving me that strength and he's fighting my battles and I'm just trusting in him and worrying less and worshiping more. That's one of my favorite things and I, I have to remind myself of that constantly. You know, I learned many years ago that worry is a form of sin. And, you know, I didn't like hearing that, to be honest with you, but um, I have my own internal struggles with, with worry and with fear and anxiety, and it's a daily battle, but um, God is getting me through it. He really is. And in the moments where I feel like I can't take another step forward, He carries me. I know that. I feel it. It's a beautiful thing. So um, I just want to remind you that you know, when you're thinking these negative thoughts and when you're thinking there's no way out, things can never get better, those are not thoughts from God. They're definitely from the enemy. So rebuke him. Remind him that you're a child of God, that you're covered by the blood of Jesus, and that he gets the victory. He's already won the victory. And we just get to be along for the ride, <laughs> thanks to what he did on the cross for us. So thanks for listening. I'll be back tomorrow. Please don't forget, love God and love others.